Welcome back you beautiful people, wheel size, 29, 27.5, 700C, mullet, 26, 24. You can get yourself in a right little circular mess when it comes to buying a bike with the correct wheel size. It's basically personal preference, but what gets me is a mullet. Why? With a mullet? Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> we survived it. The mullet setup. Two different wheel sizes. 29 up front, 27.5 on the rear. It's like best of both wheels. I mean worlds. But how extreme can we go? So I'm going to experiment with some extreme mullet setups. Right, before we get into the experimental stage, I'm going to do a little summary on wheel size. Now I'm going to kick it off with the 29er. Basically, taken over the world of mountain biking. It's the go-to wheel size for all aspects of racing, cross country, downhill, and enduro. It's fast rolling, it smooths out the trail. It's a super competitive wheel size. Now it's taken me a while to get used to the big wheel on a bike, but I kind of like it. Next up is this, the 27.5. Came out in 2007 and blew the world, but kicked off more so in 2013. It was faster than the 26 at the time. You didn't get that tire buzz right here. And it was like a go-to wheel size for racing. Nowadays, it's uh, the free rider's choice and people that want a bit of fun and they don't get on with the bigger wheel. Next up is the 26 inch wheel. A 26, super close to my heart. It nowadays is all about dirt jumping slope styles, the go-to wheel size. But a little history here, it's been around since the beginning, where Gary Fisher built its first clunker back in 1975. And it all boiled down to what kind of tire they could get that was perfect for off-roading. And that tire was the Uni Royale Nobly, which was a 26, 2.125 and had a really good shoulder for all that riding and it was because of all those beach cruises and stuff that it's been the standard ever since which brings me on to this this standard the mullet best of both worlds 29 27.5 follow me because i got something up my sleeve <laughs> that's gonna be exciting <laughs> The mullet is gaining a lot of popularity with mountain bikers all over the world because of its versatility, its responsiveness on the trail, because it's fun and proactive, and it's all because of that rear wheel. So let's shrink it. <laughs> oh, oh man. First off, the manual's brilliant because it's, you're super low down on the back. It's so easy to get the front up. Doesn't look that much different. Obviously, it's a smaller tire comparison to the, in compared to the front. Um, don't look much different. It's 26, 26 inch. It ain't dead. Let's go and try it. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> This way gets playful in the turns. Whoa! In the way! Super playful! Oi! <laughs> Do you know what it is? Alright? It's the 26 inch wheel. Like I said, it's close to my heart. It's where it all stemmed from. There's tricks. And it just makes me whoo, buzzing. 26. Oh man, it can make you do that. <laughs> Go upside down or loop up because your body weight's so far over the rear. 
talk about body weight. Let's go mess around over there on some rough, rough stuff. Rough stuff, look at that. Well, you need to get your body weight over the back because you don't want to go over the bars. Perfect for the 26 mullet. 29, 26. Oh, actually, that's like the nine upside. It is, isn't it? Nine upside down, six, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. Six mullet. Oh, that was exciting. Not much difference, really. The BB is a little bit low, yes, yeah, but not much. The next one, I tell you what, <laughs> it's gonna look crazy. Let's go and change it. <laughs> look at this. Look at it. 24 inch mullet. This is this is now extreme. 24 inch on the rear, 29 up front. Done nothing else but that. The BB is very close to the ground now, but wheelies like an absolute dream. And manuals, oh man, if you want to learn a manual, get a 24 inch rear wheel. It'll bring that front up very quickly. Right, let's go and ride it. <laughs> oh man, whoa! <laughs> Impressions, okay? The back end, like the 26 inch, I say it was like a Jack Russell with a super waggy tail. He's super playful and happy. The 24, on the other hand, is like a Jack Russell on crack. It's nasty, it's everywhere. It's, it's just so twitchy. It's like a barracuda, the fastest fish in the ocean, is just going for it like that. And it's just constant wagging. It's horrible, but you can jump it. I did a stunt. Now I'm getting up to the top, but you've got to climb to the top. And I don't think it's going to be comfortable at all. Look at it, just look at it. It's like a hyena, you know a hyena? Real short back legs, big shoulders. Not good for running, just good for chomping. Oh. Full southwest is the trail I'm going to be riding. It's the same one I did earlier with the 26, but I don't think I'm going to be charging as hard as I did with the 26, because the BB is definitely lower. Definitely lower. Oh. <laughs> oh man, do not bottom out, Blake. Oh. 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 <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do the right hand line. It's a bit rougher and it squares off the bottom turn. Feels all right, actually. So I'm sat like this going down. It's comfortable. <laughs> oh, the rough bit. Oh my, oh, oh my gosh. Hi, I'm a bit, bit disappointed with the 24. It is slow, obviously it's a smaller wheel, but it is slow. Coming down through there, it's, it's okay. I feel like I'm gonna just totally get my foot caught underneath the root and that would be nasty. Break my BB, sump it out. But mm, it's, it's a bit flat. 26 was the best one. But, right, you ready? Look at this one. Whoa! <laughs> Man. Whoa! It was like unpredictable. It's predictable, but 
it changes so quick. It can bite you in the butt straight away. You got grip, you got grip, you got no grip. And then it just starts to slide and you can't get it back because it's such a tiny tire. It's fighting for his dear life in any way. All right, them turns. I actually love this trail. It's beautiful, pay rise. But let's go over there. Rough stuff. Who loves it? Who loves it? Uh, I do when I, when I have my normal bike, but with this, any advantages? No, I don't think so really. Just uh, the advantage is you're more likely to break your rear mech, hit a pedal on the floor, which I've done loads already. So uh, let's hit it. <laughs> All right, into the rough stuff. Oh my giddy on. Oh. oh, don't go too fast. Oh, take it easy. I like my rear mech. I like my rear mech and my feet. Oh my, oh, oh. A tricky section in itself, but with a small wheel. Oh, <laughs> we survived it. We survived. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> no! I thought I was going to case front wheel that. I don't know why I didn't just flip the 24, but the weirdly the 24 felt strange. It was like, I went from 26 to 24 and I was like, nah, 24 man, that's terrible. 20, 20 is where it's at, look at that. Oh, okay, I'm done in, I'm scared. Uh, I bet when I change my bike back to a 27.5, the bike's gonna feel so damn alien. It's gonna be weird. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And uh, like I said, it's important when it comes to wheel choice, wheel size choice when picking your bike, but it's personal preference. It's up to you. If you wanna ride a mallet, a super mallet, don't recommend it, because you might ruin a Mac or two and your pedals. 29er, 26, whatever you fancy. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And we'll see you next time. See ya. Cup of tea. Cup of tea and I'll fix this back up.